Hello, welcome back to uh, Mission May Armor Three Mission Making Episode Three. All right, this one right here is uh, was requested by a couple comments in the last video I made. Uh, mostly was about scripted loadouts, so we're gonna go over that today. Um, we're also gonna go over uh, allowing certain people to have arsenal, uh, and this is mostly for your modern mill sim, but it can also go for your star sim or you know your, your optra or anything like that. So, I mean, what I'm going to be teaching you today on, in this video is going to be universal. Uh, so, our, our mod list is very bare bone. So, I'm going to show you it real quick. As you can see, we just got CBA, Ace, Achilles, C Tab, uh, no weapon sway, and then uh, Task Force Radio. All right, because I know some people just don't like the weapon sway and Arma. I could care less. I use scripts to, to help uh, with that. Uh, if I could use a script, I'd rather do, rather do that than, uh, you know, bringing in another mod. But. Uh, with that said, let's go ahead and start. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to place down some units. So in order to simulate this, I'm going to place down a fire team right now. Okay. Um, and what I do uh, is I'm going to unbind them. All right. Because I normally I have a certain way I like to set up the uh, fire team. And that's generally uh, how I was in the army. At least when I was in the army. Um, so we got our auto riflemen. And our grenadier and uh, our other guy, which in Arma is a AT rifleman. All right, so we got our three guys. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and uh, take these guys back down to bear. All right, and what I like to use for any of this is Ace Arsenal, mainly because you can type in what you're looking for really quick. So, but right now, actually, I think I got like a, a negative. Yeah. And then what we'll do is we'll just put them in, uh, you know, uh, recon fatigues because that's the short, uh, the short sleeved one, short sleeved uniform. So, all right, and they have, should have nothing on them. So as you can see, uh, all these guys are very basic. I'm very tedious. I like to have my guys just standing up straight. There we go. All right. So whenever you make a, a mission, uh, and you're starting to put your groups in, which is generally the, the hardest part of a mission for me at least because it takes the longest is getting all these guys set up all right so now what we're gonna do is we're just gonna go ahead and spawn a box I normally make sure there's nothing inside the box all right so when you start making a mission normally what I do is I save it right away that way it creates the folder uh, and then I put all my stuff in there. Now, I'm old school, so I still use a lot of the old school way of doing it, like the Arma 2 way. Uh, but I also do some of the new school stuff, like the respawn markers and everything, like the respawn modules and stuff like that. Um, so when I make a mission file, and I'll show you this mission file, uh, as you can see on the side of my screen, uh, I've got my CHVD, which is actually, uh, it's a script, and it's, a, it's pretty much a mod, but it's a script, uh, which is your view distance. So whenever you're inside your multiplayer game, if you don't like your view distance, you can use the scroll wheel. Instead of having to hit escape, go to the options, this will automatically override and do it for you. Uh, I've got our images, which is the load screen whenever it loads up. Uh, I've got our scripts, which is where we're going to be putting our loadouts in. All right. Uh, next, I got our CBA settings, um, which is right here. This basically is just for all of ACE functions, the logistics, medical, everything. I got the description, which as you can see, um, it's got our unload, our mission name. It's got the load screen, which it'll tell it, you know, images backslash load screen, let me, letting the letting the uh, mission know where which folder and what um, name it is. You can rename this to anything you want. You can rename it to photo one, photo two, anything you want. All right. Um, then we have our init, which this right here specifically is for uh, our headless client, which I, we have right here. All right, and then we have our enabled splash screen because if you ever played with uh, Swap or Star Wars mod, it has like this infinite splash screen. So this right here helps it load through that screen faster, letting it know, hey, needs to hurry up. Um, and then we have our stamina right here, our player stamina. All right, um, so that way you don't really have to download a mod. It's just automatically in your mission file. Okay, next one we have is our init player local, and I'll talk about that a little bit later. Uh, as we get into this mission okay so but our loadouts are going to be in scripts i like to try to keep the mission file organized because if you don't then all these scripts right here would be in your root file which they'd go out here and it just it's it's a lot of it's a lot of folder it's a lot of sqfs to look at so i like to keep track of them I like to keep them uh, organized 
So the one we're going to be working with right now is I'm going to be putting down three um, three loadouts. We're going to start with the officer, the sergeant, and the assault trooper, which these loadouts are generally for the star sim that we have, but you can always change the name. All right, so the first thing we want to do is go to our supply box, and we want to tell it um, what uh, the variables are, what the, the script line for this loadout is. Okay, so I will go ahead and bring up a list of my scripts that I have on my desktop here. And uh, here it is right here. And then we'll place it inside the init of the object. All right, now there are different boxes. All right, uh, if you've ever seen them, like if you click a whole bunch of groups and you right click, go to attributes, it'll have a different uh, init box. It won't say object. So make sure you're putting in the object in it. All right, so now what we're doing is we're adding an action to that box. All right, so this add action color. Now the color is in BB code, so you can always change this to a different color. This one's red. All right, and then it's going to say officer, but we're going to we'll put two right here. Two little, you can put anything you want inside of these little um, arrows. All right, next is going to be where the SQF is actually located and the name of it. So we actually put ours in the script folder then backslash officer, okay? Because as you guys saw from the mission folder, give me a second. All right, we go into scripts. It's actually officer. All right, so there we go. Scripts, backslash officer, SQF. Okay, then next one we're gonna do, we're gonna hit shift enter. I'm gonna paste it again, and then I'm gonna change this to uh, Dash, uh, sergeant, and you can name these anything you want. These parts, you can name any of them you want, like section leader, uh, corporal, anything you want. I normally keep mine uh, the same as the name on the SQF. As you can see, there's the sergeant one, there's the sergeant, again, the color is red. I'll use a different BB code here in a second to uh, show you guys uh, the difference. Scripts, backslash, sergeant. So for me, I normally keep this SQF name the same as the what I'm putting down. All right, next one, just for, uh, uh, we'll put uh, Rifleman. All right, but we're gonna keep the name the same inside the inside the folder so you guys know what I'm talking about. And the one we're gonna be using for this is, uh, yeah, let's use the Assault uh, Trooper V1. All right, so Assault Trooper V1. There's our Assault Trooper V1. Here's our sergeant. Okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and pull up the internet and look up some BB code for colors. So, color BB code. <clears throat> if you hear me typing and hearing stuff in the background, I do apologize. I had to reset up my, uh, re redo my stand-up mic. getting a bunch of them now. So I do apologize for the wait, guys. I normally use a uh, specific website for this, but I'm not, it's not popping up right now. Oh, here it goes, okay. So for the second one, we'll make this one blue. Or actually, we'll make it forest green. We'll make it green. And then for the rifleman, we'll make him, uh, let's see, uh, I don't want red, because we've already got red for the officer. All right, um, we can make it gray. Let's make it gray. Now, again, these are just BB codes, and the computer knows the BB codes. So that's what we're going to put. We're going to put these three in there. We're going to hit OK. All right, so now we've got that in. Here comes the next part. The next part's going to be opening up all these. Uh, I recommend using Notepad++. All right. And then what we're going to do is we are going to... This guy is going to be our officer for right now. Now, make sure you have Virtual Arsenal, BI Virtual Arsenal, not the Ace Arsenal. All right. Okay, so let's say this guy is going to be our officer. I don't want to spend too much time on him. So um, let's go with the, the light combat helmets. We'll take black for the officer. Uh, let's take uh, carrier rig and 
and we'll give him, I don't know, um, we'll give him this with the two with the 320 with a, uh, no, not the black one. Oh, or not the tan one, sorry. Yeah, screw it, we'll give him that with, say, a suppressor and a laser. And then we'll give him a backpack. Uh, we'll give him a radio backpack. Let's say, no, that's not that. That's the wrong one. That's still too big, but okay, we'll give him that. All right, and we'll give him some magazines in his inventory. Oh, it actually has tan mags now. That's pretty cool. All right, we'll go with yellow. Give him seven. We'll give him that standard load. We'll give him two frag grenades and four white smokes. All right. And let's give him an actual radio. Watch. Binos. Give him some glasses. This, this part might actually take you a while, so just remember what you're putting on him. Black ones with some nods. And the black ones. Okay. So now what we're going to do is we're just going to finish this up. I love the 45. We're going to hit Control C. You'll see it saying data's copied. Now what you'll do is you'll pull up your officer uh, notepad. All right. And then all you're going to do is just highlight and then Control V. All right. Then you can go ahead and delete these lines. These lines don't mean anything. Also, this right here where it says set identity, basically whatever head and voice and everything like that your character has, it'll normally go off your profile. That's what it'll want to set it when people select it, so just go ahead and delete that. Okay, so now we have everything done. Okay, so now what we want to do is we want to make this enabled for multiplayer. All right, so we're going to hit uh, Control F. We're going to go to replace. It's already set up for us. This, you're going to change this to player. Okay, that way, that way you know, making a video. That way, it'll know in multiplayer that it's looking for the player, all right? Because if not, it'll give you an error. All right, so there we go. We've changed everything to player now. As you can see, player is going to get the 152. Even if this just says item radio, it'll still give it that 152. All right, mainly because it's T-Far will override it and give it that, that faction, okay? So as you can see, here's the weapons for him, um, the attachments, all right, that he has. Um, he has mags on his uh, uniform. He has, up to, he has three mags in his uniform. All right, he has seven mags in his vest, two hand grenades, four um, smoke grenades, and then he's going to have uh, a couple, two magazines for his um, pistol. All right, then all you're going to do is once you do that, you just going to hit save. All right, now we get to go to the next one. Say we want to work on uh, the NCO. Okay, so let's go ahead and change that up. We'll change the helmet. Let's hit a grass, a night vision. Let's give him green weapon, my basic rifle. Oh, that's cool. I didn't notice they changed that. He's actually gripping the... Uh, Rail, that's pretty cool. It must have been an update or something like that recently. Or it probably came out in that last update. Alright, so let's say he's going to have an EOTech. Love those things. Alright, we're going to... What else could we give him? Uh, really nothing too much. Let's change his vest. Let's give him a light one. Okay. So let's say this is all you want to do. Same thing. Control C. Bring this up, go to your sergeant. There we go. Now this is very simple once you get to, to know how to do it. Okay, this is normally the easiest thing. We're gonna hit our replace again. All right, now for our uh, assault guy. Let's just change this up. Let's give him a rocket launcher. All right, let's give him a different helmet. Let's give him uh, Let's say this one right here. 
give him some brown night vision. And for this guy, let's let's just go off the wall with him. All right, let's, there we'll give him we'll give him that. That's gonna be some pretty free. You would never probably see anybody with that. Okay, um, give him some AT rounds. Uh, let's see, he's got his pistol. Uh, give him his seven rounds. All right, say so that's it for this guy. We hit Control C. We'll bring up our assault guy. Now we're gonna hit Control V. And control F, replace, bam. It's that easy. This is the easiest part. All right, then we just hit escape. See, it brings it back. Our guys are uh, normal. All right, got our player here. We're actually going to make all these players. Okay, now all of them are that. All right, so now let's play this in multiplayer. I always use mine in multiplayer. That way, if you have scripts and stuff like that, um, they'll normally display and, and do stuff instantly. All right, so now we're here on Malden. Gonna run over the box, as you can see. There we go. We got officers in red, sergeants in green, and riflemen in gray. So let's go ahead and bam! Look at that. There we go again. Here's our sergeant. As you can see, he's got his eyewear on, too. And then our rifleman. All right. Ooh, I got some loading going on. I got a... Oh, I got the SMG one. All right. So here you go. It's, it's that easy. Now, mostly people that want to use this are guys who are doing modern milsim, trying to stick uh, with uh, strict uh, loadouts. Uh, it's not as much in the star sim that I wish would happen, but uh, again, you can use this universally with any unit, especially if you're doing like a story mission where uh, you have mercenaries or PMCs or something like that, and each person only has certain things. You can go to the box and do it. Now, with that being said, in some mil sim units or star sim units, what they'll have is um, they don't. Sometimes you don't trust everybody to have arsenal because they'll go in and try to grab stuff. Uh, especially that they don't need like a rifleman to go in and grab like thermals or a shield or something or you know just something that a rifleman generally wouldn't need. So a way to get around this is another script that I'm going to show you. All right, and that script, let me pull it up real quick. Go to my little handy dandy scripts. All right, is going to be this bad boy. So what we're going to do is click on the box, shift enter. All right, and I'll include all this stuff in my description. All right, but here it is, this ad action. Again, we're throwing down an ad action. Whomever's arsenal, what we're going to do is we're going to change it to, to uh, leader's arsenal. There we go, leader's arm. Hopefully I spelled that correctly. If not, somebody in the comments will be like, you're an idiot. All right, here we go. Uh, this is what we're going to be looking at to put on the person, uh, so that way they can um, use the arsenal, but we're going to change the false to true. And then, of course, the distance is five meters, so we're going to do that. So we'll hit that. All right, and then we'll go and grab our other script that we got to put onto the client. So instead of it going to the team leader, we're going to put it on the auto rifleman just for, you know, shits and gigs. All right, so there we go. This set variable. Bam, done. All right, so let's check this out. Now, this is just a basic BI arsenal. I'm going to do it with the team leader first to show you that he will not have arsenal. And this is just very useful for squad leaders and team leaders because, you know, if somebody in their team needs something, he can just go into the arsenal and give it. So that way you got a little bit more control of who gets what. All right, so as you can see, just inventory, officer, sergeant, rifleman. So let's go ahead and back out now. And then we'll go to our uh, auto rifleman. And again, I'll, I'll be putting this in the, in the description for anybody who wants to watch or read it and then just use it directly. See, look, already pops up, Leader's Arsenal. So we'll hit that, the Arsenal will initialize, and because we're not using too many mods, it'll load really quick. All right, so as you can see, he can grab everything out of the uh, the, vir the BIR, the Virtual Arsenal. Now, I am trying to work to make this a uh, Ace Arsenal, because I do know, like myself, I prefer the Ace Arsenal, uh, because I like to type in what I'm looking for. 
Like if I'm looking for a multicam uniform, I can just type in multi. Uh, or if it's a sp specific helmet, like a black helmet, I can just type in black or green or whatever. All right, but as you can see, um, he gets that arsenal. Also, that CHVD you saw that I talked about earlier with the view distance, you can see right there that it, it works. All right, it's quick and easy. It's better than uh, hitting the uh, escape key and going into your options and doing it. Uh, it'll help out with your performance, too. All right, so that was our second thing right there, uh, basically that arsenal uh, showing it. Now, you can put this on as many people as you want. Like, let's say um, we've got two teams, all right, and you want this only to be available for the team leader. Just copy it. Come in here. Set our variable. Take it off this guy. And then, bam, they, they both, both the team leaders will have arsenal. So that way, you know, whenever they get up there... If, their team needs something extra or something they can they can do that so that's that right there guys is the scripts and that's the arsenal next thing I'm gonna show you um, is gonna be the blacklist all right now I know some people have been asking on BI about this how to blacklist certain mods and people were like oh well you can just use ace for your PBO warnings uh, you can whitelist your mods and I'll be honest with you with the mods I've gotten and some other people have gotten the signature has been messing up on a lot of them and has been keeping them from actually launching their server with their mods or they're beginning errors so what I'll show you now is in the mission file I showed you earlier is our uh, in it player local all right now inside this bad boy this right here was written up by a buddy of mine named Chalk or Jay Shock he is on the BI forums. He's been taking a break. He's been focusing on college. But me and him talk a lot. Um, he lives literally like an hour away. So we used to go uh, hunting together and all that stuff. But here we go right here. Um, I've made some changes, mostly with the uh, um, the titles and everything like that, the little things that come up. Now this right here will uh, blacklist a mod. As you can see, here's our blacklist. So uh, you don't have to put the mod name like at VAA underscore Arsenal or anything like that. Mostly because the way Shock has set it up is all you have to do is put your C to put the CFG patches. In every mod, there's a line. Normally you know the top that says CFG patches. And uh, underneath the CFG patches, it actually names what the mod is. So as you can see, we have VAA Arsenal, LEA, uh, PA, PA Arsenal, basically Arsenal Anywhere, uh, Blast Core, uh, The Smoke. Um, blast core tracers and, and back in the day when he did this this was like three years ago uh, there was a real big issue with blast core and tracers and smoke effects that uh, when people use them they just created havoc on a server and people would get kicked and stuff so what will happen is once you put this in um, and I won't be leaving this in the description because this is his personal script but I mean you can obviously look at it and type it and copy it you know do whatever you need but um, all right um, so once we got that, we've got that in. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back through multiplayer. And I'm going to show you. And then what I'll do is I'll actually back out all the way and activate personal arsenal and show you guys what it is. Now look in the bottom left. There it goes. Check into add-ons. Add-ons check complete mainly because I've only got like five mods running. So it's going to be really quick. All right. So we're good to go. So now we're going to back out. Now make sure you save all your progress when you're making missions. I generally save every five minutes. So I saved it. Now we're gonna back out of it. All right, here we go. Now we're gonna go down to personal arsenal. We're gonna load it up. All right, so now we're back in. It took a little while to load, so. Um, apparently, Shadowplay doesn't like it whenever I uh, exit out of a game. <laughs> so it actually stops the recording. So, all right, now we're back in here. We're going to load up our mission. All right, mission making three. All right, so now we're back in. Make sure we got everything right. We got our, okay. So now what I'm going to do is I have my arsenal loaded, or uh, my personal arsenal loaded. So I'm going to show you what it does. We're going to do our team leader. Now, everything should still be set up properly, so as soon as I load in, I should get a little message saying, hey, you've got personal arsenal on. There it goes. Tells me, hey, Ninth Assault Core, uh, bad add-on detected. Tells me what the mod is, 
I hit continue, it will automatically kick me out of the server, and then hopefully whoever is trying to load into your server will see what mod they have and will go and turn it off. So with that being said, guys, hopefully this has been uh, an eye opener. If you guys do want to get a hold of the blacklist um, settings, the 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 SQF that I, uh, me and my buddy Shock have made, just give me a message uh, or message me on the video in the comments. I'll I'll give it out. Uh, the main reason I don't want to just give it out to everybody is, um, you know, people trying to sit there and say, oh, it's mine, it's mine, and I'm like, dude, this was created three years ago. It's definitely not yours. Um, it was created from scratch. So, yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. Hopefully this has been a uh, eye opener for you. Hopefully you learned something here, especially with the scroll wheel loadouts. All right. So, um, yeah, you guys have a good day. Have a good weekend. And uh, catch you next time. Um, if there is something you want to know about in, in Arma 3, um, just send a request, and I'll try to do it as much as I can. Um, if not, you know, uh, I'll, I'll let you know. But uh, take it easy.